welcome to our Wednesday devotional here at Cedar Grove and, and Pittsburgh. I'm glad that you joined us tonight. Uh, I encourage you to, to pray for not only things happening in our town, but our area, but just pray. Seems like a lot of different people have got a lot of different situations going on. So remember to pray for them. Let's open up in prayer. Lord Jesus, thank you for this time tonight. Thank you for blessing us with your presence as we look at your word. Help us to bring honor and glory to your name tonight. We ask this, Father, in your name. Amen. There's a passage of scripture that says something like that, that he taught them nothing except by, but by a parable. That's either in Matthew or Mark, one of the two. And it's just talking about how approximately one-third of Jesus' teaching that he taught his disciple was in the form of parables. Uh, he done that. He was the master teacher, and there is many parables in the Scripture. And what I want to do over the next few weeks is go over and talk about some of these parables. The first one that I want to go through tonight for a few minutes is found in Matthew chapter 25, verses 1 through 13. Matthew 24, the book, chapter 24 and 25, has a whole lot to do with judgment and the fact that one day we were going, we're going to stand before God and give an account and face judgment. But anyway, Matthew 25, 1 through 13 <clears throat> is the parable of the ten virgins or the parable of the ten bridesmaids. And this parable is about judgment and what we are to be doing while we are waiting for the judgment and the coming of the Lord and the day of the Lord as Scripture talks about. These 13 verses... Uh, the theme in them is what are we doing while we're waiting for the judgment or for Jesus to come back. It uh, gives a description here of heaven and a wedding and it talks about these ten bridesmaids or ten virgins. I want to read 25, 1 through 13 says, Then the kingdom of heaven shall be likened to ten virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Now five of them were wise and five were foolish. Those who were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. But the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. But while the bridegroom was delayed, they all slumbered and slept. And at midnight a cry was heard, Behold, the bridegroom is coming. Go out to meet him. Then all of those virgins, bridemaids, arose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said to the wise, Give us some of your oil, for our lamps are going out. But the wise answered, saying, No, lest there should not be enough for us and you, but go rather to those who sell and buy for yourselves. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came, and those who were ready went in with him to the wedding, and the door was shut. Afterward, the other virgins came also, saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answered and said, Assuredly, I say to you, I do not know you. Watch therefore, for you know neither the day nor the hour in which the Son of Man is coming. So this parable is about, somebody said, the best way to prepare for tomorrow is to prepare for today. And the five wise prepared for 
tomorrow by preparing for today and the five unwise they got caught and it says here the door was shut there is going to come a time according to this passage and according to the experts when our our second chance and third chance and fourth and fifth and all these chances that we have had to get ready they are going to stop this parable is about heaven and judgment and being ready whenever he comes because it says that nobody knows the time or the hour so what we can be doing is making sure that we have oil in our lamp uh, make sure that we are ready to meet him because we don't know when he's coming so we we have to be ready and with this uh, a very simple basic parable here it tells us and tells anyone who reads it the importance of getting ready and staying ready so that you'll have oil in your lamp when he comes it would be unwise to know that you was going to a wedding and that you had to have oil and you didn't have any oil in your lamp it would be wise to make sure and plan for tomorrow by preparing for today. Because according to the scripture, every one of us, we're going to go out into eternity and we're going to face judgment and we're going to stand before God and give an account of every deed done in the flesh. So with this simple story about a wedding and heaven being likened unto this wedding, lets us know the importance of being ready because if we missed it we have certainly missed it all please if you get the opportunity take just a few minutes there's only 13 verses to this parable uh, read it and read it and read it and spend a little bit of time meditating on it and trust that you are ready and make sure that you're ready to go and if, if you know of somebody in your family or close to you, make sure that they are ready and you can share this with them. One thing is, you see, we think, well, he, uh, he has waited all this time. He hasn't come back yet. And it's been centuries. He hasn't come back yet. The thing about it is he promised that he was coming back. And he makes promises and he keeps them. So that is why. We have to be ready whenever that day is, whenever that day is for us. And if he tarries 2,000 more years, we are to be ready for tomorrow by being ready today. It's not a, a very difficult thing to do. That's a very, very simple thing to do. Invite Jesus into your heart. Ask him to forgive you of your sins and to take control and be the Lord and Savior of your life and make Him your Savior and Lord and live for Him and serve Him. Read His Word. Uh, build up oil in your lamp. Study and read His Word. It tells us specific instructions about any kind of thing that, that we may come in contact with. So we don't want to be in the situation like the five unwise when it come time for the, to them to go into the wedding, the door was shut. And that one verse, it's sort of cold. Whenever they come and they, they wanted to get in, the wording is, I do not know you. So it's extremely important to be ready. Remember to pray. There's a lot of a lot of unspoken requests and then we have people in the hospital and with everything going on even in in our town and the schools and all different kinds of situations we most assuredly need to be praying praying for a church praying for our schools pray all the time heavenly father thank you tonight for this devotion for this parable that we have heard many, many times before. But the meaning is still the same. 
judgment will come one day on every one of us. And we don't want to have the door shut and told, sorry, I do not know you. Help us to learn from these stories. Jesus was the master teacher, and he taught this to his disciples to help them understand about heaven and judgment day coming. Bless us for the rest of this week. Thank you for Pittsburgh and for Cedar Grove. And we look forward to the service on Sunday. We ask these things in your name. Amen. Thank you.